hey, how's it going? Let's see what's in the news today. This hashtag has been shared by more than 100,000 people on Twitter. It's because US President Donald Trump spoke about video games when he addressed the two mass shootings in the US on the weekend. But is there really a link between violence in video games and violence in real life? They're some of the biggest games in the world. And sometimes they can be pretty violent. For a long time, violent games have been a target for politicians. We must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. But that's an idea more than 100,000 gamers have been disputing online. Video games are not to blame. Video games are not to blame. And many have shared this graph, showing that in countries like South Korea and China, where loads of video games are sold, there isn't a problem with gun violence. But what about other types of violence? While losing a game can make you a little angry sometimes, studies on the topic show there's no real link to violent behaviour. But for now, it's still game on with this hotly debated issue. The European Space Agency has just launched a rocket to help create a space data highway. The rocket blasted off from South America, carrying satellites which will form part of the most sophisticated laser communication network ever. So basically a super fast broadband network. Handy. An Irish teenager has been awarded 50,000 big ones for coming up with a way to remove microplastics from water. Fionn Fiera won this year's Google Science Fair competition. He created a special kind of fluid that the teeny tiny bits of plastic stick to, and then he used a magnet to pull them out of the water. Pretty clever. Paleontologists in New Zealand have found fossils of a one metre tall giant parrot. Nicknamed Heracles after the Greek hero, it weighed in at a whopping seven kilograms and almost certainly didn't fly, back when it was still a living thing a whole 19 million years ago. It doesn't fly now either, it's just bones. It'd be at least twice as big as the world's largest living parrot, the kakapo, which still can't fly, but is still terrifyingly big. A school in South Australia is helping kids who are vision impaired by creating more books in Braille. I like to read because it's basically a way of expressing myself and it also gives me like a lot of new words. I do lots of read. I like science and geography. And if we had no non-fiction books, I would believe in fairy tales, which don't exist. But finding a great book to read in Braille can be tricky. In Australia, there's no mainstream uh, resources that you can just go to the shop or even off a website and purchase that are made in Australia. Everything comes from America, so it's really difficult to find anything that our kids can just take off of the shelf and read. So this school is creating its own. The librarian here gets permission to recreate books and a team of volunteers get to work transforming them. Pages are embossed with braille and arts and crafts skills are used to make tactile images. The school hopes the books will help students of all ages learn Braille. If I didn't have these Braille books with the tactile pictures, I wouldn't have the education that I need. When you first start, it's really hard, I reckon. But then, as I got used to it, it was easy. And finally today, we're celebrating perfect snaps with picture-perfect moments from around the globe. Now, this is the best opportunity anyone could get to take a killer selfie. A killer whale selfie. These orcas were snapped off the coast of California in the US. Definitely one for the gram. Or just show it to your mum. Anyone's mum. Uh, if you're colourblind, this may not be the best snap. But for the rest of us, this is a spectacular display of the natural phenomenon known as Aurora Australis, taken straight from a beach in Tassie. And finally, the funnest way to choose a baby name, make the baby do it. This snow leopard at Akron Zoo in Ohio picked her favourite, Bayer, out of these three balls of potential names. Oh, an explosion of cuteness for your animal scrapbook. Do you know what would make a picture-perfect moment for me? You pressing the subscribe button.